What's up guys, it's Peak Reacts here, and a lot of you guys are coming from Rip City Rundown, the Instagram, uh, CJ Daily, Dame.CJDaily, I've got friends in the Blazers fan page community, maybe even strictly uh, .gt2, but today I'm going to be doing a video on what if the Blaze, Portland Trail Blazers were completely healthy this whole year. Now, um... This would obviously mean Nurkic is uh, healthy the whole year. Rodney Hood is healthy the whole year. Zach Collins is healthy. He can move. He can get better. Um, but so this is what the lineup would look like. I'm gonna change the rotation around a little bit so I can get the best players in there. Um, we're definitely gonna have to go a 10-man rotation. Um, but yeah, but this will be a Nurkic and Collins twin tower. Hood would be here for shooting. Uh, you would have a Riza coming off the bench, Mello coming off the bench for scoring. Uh, we're not going to give Nasir any minutes. We're going to give all those minutes to Simons, and then we're going to take some minutes from these guys and give them to Collins. Oh, I gave I didn't give them to Simons, and then give Simons about 13 and gave Collins about 14, but. This team would obviously be a lot better coming off a Western Conference Finals berth. I'm gonna go to the trade deadline because you could always, if we were healthy, we probably would have be, would be trading Whiteside at the trade deadline. Um, but yeah, I'll be going right before the trade deadline. We're gonna watch a couple games. See how we're doing. See, we beat the Nuggets. Didn't do that in real life. Uh, lose to the Kings. That's a little disappointing. Um, but yeah, we beat the Mavericks. See, they're offering trades for White Salt already, but I'm going to disable them, and I will get back to you when the uh, trade deadline comes around, and I'll show you our record. Okay, I'm back at the trade deadline, and we are 29 and 22. It's probably not as good as I expected. This is 2K. I mean, we are the five seed, which is a pretty good spot. The Warriors are up here because obviously they have no injuries. Um, anyone's the Jazz. This seems to happen a lot. They're 16 and 34. I see this a lot happen in 2K. Uh, looks like they do have some injuries. Um, I don't even know who it is. It's Joe Ingles. Mike Conley's also not as good as people as you would expect. Um, and on this side, any surprises? No, not really. The same suspects. The Pacers aren't doing too good. Um, but we'll look at our team stats here at the middle at the break. It's Dame, and then we just have CJ, Nurkic, and we just have a lot of players scoring the ball. Um, it's been interesting to say, see how we're doing scoring the ball compared to the rest of the league. This is from the bottom down. Okay, so we're top seven in the league in scoring. Defensively, obviously, we're not the best. And then we have a pretty good differential where you are 11th in the league. But, as you know, in real life, this would be a time to trade Whiteside, so that's exactly where we're gonna do. We're gonna trade Whiteside and probably Ariza here. Before I do this, I'm gonna change Whiteside to a power forward and also change Little to a power forward because he's gonna end up having to change. But this should bring a big market and we're probably gonna look for starting small forward or power forward. Um, Cause obviously Nurk is gonna be our starting center and also a backup wing. So we're gonna put these two together and this should give us someone really good. So we get Tobias Harris, obviously that's a great pickup. Uh, John Collins would be a good pick. I'm gonna try to keep this as realistic as possible. But like we could pick up Porzingis, but that's not realistic. Um, so yeah, we get good offers, but I think the most realistic thing is go in for us, like a, like we were rumored for Kevin Love. So we could go for a Kevin Love and then also a Tristan Thompson to back us up. And we will throw in, is that, that's not valid. Then we'll throw in Trevor Ariza. They like what we have and then we'll throw in one first and we get a trade. So that would be the trade we would do. We would need to change Nurk back to a center. He will be an 84. So now we pick up Kevin Love and then we pick up a backup center in Tristan Thompson. But I'm gonna do one more trade because I truly do believe that we are like better than this. So we're gonna keep Trent, we're gonna keep Collins, that's shooting guard. We're gonna keep Mella. We probably are gonna trade Little and Thompson for a very good starting three. Have Rodney come off the bench. 
Oh, I need to hold up one second. I need to turn this off just because I know this is like, you're not supposed to trade, but we got to turn it off to make this a little more realistic, but we're going to do, ah, got to do one more thing. We're just going to go ahead and turn rookie signing. Financials got us down. Stifen rolls off because that's not even a thing anymore. And then we're going to do Kevin Love and Nasir Little and try to get a good small forward starter. And then again, a backup center would be because like Otto Porter wouldn't be a bad pickup, but we really don't need that first. Marcus Morris wouldn't be a bad pickup. I'm trying to keep this as realistic as possible. Look, like there's Kent. A nice starting small forward like this, like a Will Barton wouldn't be bad be our starting small forward a row code see that's what we're looking for because if you didn't know his overall skyrockets when you get him so that's the trade we're gonna do add the exception we pick up roco and then we're gonna do one more trade for a backup center because that's all we need and we'll trade daniel house because we obviously don't need him anymore so we're gonna look for a backup center nothing nothing big just a solid center better than obviously Biggie. Like uh, Damian Jones isn't bad. We're just gonna go through all these to make sure there's nothing else. Ed Davis, that's a great backup center. We had him before. Um, so now I'm gonna adjust the rotation. So now I got Rocco, Kevin Love we bring in. Off the bench we got Mello, Hood, Trent Davis, Collins. That is a solid rotation. And yeah, I'm gonna start simming games again to the end of the year and I will get back to you when that obviously ends okay so the season just ended and if you see in the bottom right corner we ended 50 and 32 so we were nine games above 500 at the trade deadline and then since the trade deadline we went 21 and 10 i believe yes but lebron james is mvp john morant rookie of the year dennis Schroeder, Kawhi leonard bam Adebayo, and doc rivers is coach of the year question is do the blazers have anybody on the all NBA teams. Damian Lillard, all NBA third team. We will look at his stats in one minute. Wow, uh, D'Angelo Russell fractured his leg. Defensive team, the Blazers probably don't have anybody. Maybe, uh, no, no, no. And rookies, no. So we end up with the six seed despite the record. So we'll go, we're matched up against the Warriors, but Steph is injured right now. Let's see, check out their lineup. Yeah, they don't have Steph in right now. So this we should win, but we ended 50 and 32. We could have easily been up to the four seed. But as you see, the Nuggets don't make the playoffs in this simulation, which is very weird. And then also the Jazz don't make the playoffs, which happens every time when you simulate. But the people that replace them were the Warriors and then obviously the Blazers. But then in the East, the Bucks dominated. The Heat barely made the playoffs. The Pacers did not make the playoffs. And then the rest of them are normal. We'll look at uh, season stats for us. We've got Damian Lillard averaging tw about 28 on a nice little 50, 40, almost 90 club. CJ has a bruised shoulder, but it shouldn't be a big deal. He ended up averaging 18. Kevin Love came in 17. Mello off the bench. Rocco only averaged six. Only shot 32% from three. Not what you want from your starting small forward, but shouldn't be that bad. We got Dame playing a lot of minutes. Um, I'm gonna shorten the rotation to a nine-man rotation and also give Damian Lillard the first scoring option, CJ McCollum. Then we'll give Nurk the third scoring option and we wanna play through star and we just wanna go average tempo, but we wanna go to nine-man rotation. But we're gonna put Zach in it instead of Ed Davis. So Zach's gonna be good about 12 minutes, but then we're gonna take some of these minutes away. Give Zach about 15 and then load up on the starters minutes and then we're gonna take away a little more. And give these to Nurk, him, him, and Nurk one more time. So Nurk's gonna be playing about 34, CJ 37. But we're gonna start the simulation. We've got the Warriors round one. We win game one, it's a great sign. Win game two, Curry might be back by now. Doesn't matter, we win game three. And it looks like it could be a sweep from the four, from the sixth seed. 
That is excellent stuff. And the Lakers just got knocked out round one. So we got Clippers round two. That's going to be our hardest thing of the hardest series before the finals. Uh, CJ dominated game four. Game one, it was Lillard putting up 40. 39 for Lillard game two. 37 for Lillard game three. Lillard had an insane series. But now we've got the Clippers in round two. Remember, this is if we were all healthy. We win game one, drop game two, win game three, win game four, drop game five. I'm going to go ahead and go SimCast. Let's see how we're doing. Game one, it was Dame dropping 47, 28 in game two. Reggie Jackson let them scoring. 34 for Dame game three. Game four, we won by one, 43 for Dame. And then game five, it was Dame once again. But we are up 3-2, but I'm going to simcast because I don't want to go to a game seven. If I have to jump in in a game seven, I will. It looks like we are probably going to drop this game. We give a nice little valiant comeback in the third. But yeah, we just give up too many points. 143, Kawhi goes for 35. So we got to make possibly a couple more changes. Um... Again, we don't need so many minutes from these guys. We want to give our starters our minutes. Roko's going to need a lot of minutes. Dame needs these. And then Nurk. So that's going to be what we're going with. Hopefully this video doesn't end here. As we hopefully beat the Clippers in Game 7. We're up by 6. Up by 5. Looks like the Blazers might move on in this one. We're going to go a little slower. Up by five. Up by. Oh, we're up by one. Oh my gosh, and we just got eliminated. We really just got eliminated. By one point. We'll end up seeing who wins the playoffs, wins the championship. This was our year because we could have beaten Houston next round. I know we could have. The Clippers end up going and sweeping Houston. And then Clippers win in five games in the championship. So that's not how you want to go out. Let's check the playoff stats. It looks like Dame averaged 37 throughout the playoffs. Can we look at all teams? No, we can't. But yeah, Dame averaged 30. Where are we? Where do we go? 37 in the playoffs. CJ 22. Dame shooting 58% from the field, 54% from three. He went 50 50 90 club. Who let us down? I bet it was Rocco. I shouldn't have made that trade. 30% from the field, 25 from three. Wow. But that is going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This was what if the Blazers were healthy this year. You saw we could have made trades for Kevin Love and Rocco. But that's going to do it. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe. I will drop more Blazer videos if you like it, but also just NBA videos. You saw a NASCAR video the other day. NFL, whatever you want, but that'll be it, guys. Peace.